Question 1. Find exact value of cos 75 or cos 5 pi by 12. Well, this is an application of compound angle formula and on these sheets I have written the formula right on the top. Since it is first few questions, I like you to always look into the formula and try to remember them. Sin A plus B is sin A cos B plus cos A sin B. And if it is sin A minus B, then you have to read it like sin A cos B minus cos A sin B, correct? Similarly, for cos A plus B, you have to read plus minus, right? So cos A plus B is cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. For cos A minus B, it will be cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. So that is the formula, which is a compound angle formula, which we are going to use in these applications, okay? Now question number one is, find exact value of cos 75. For those students who are doing in radians, I have written 75 in radians, which is 5 pi by 12. So, I will solve my questions in degrees here, and that give you an equivalent for the radian, right? Uh, but really, the solution is almost the same, except for units may be written in a different way, right? This is degrees, 75 degrees is same as 5 pi by 12 radius, right? Now, we are going to take special triangles into consideration to find exact values. Now, we really don't know what cos of 75 is. We can use calculator to find it out. But, well, exact values, we really need to take help from special triangles themselves. So, the first thing here is how to write cos 75 as a sum or difference of our special angles. Now you know special angle triangles are 60, 30, 90 or we have one with 45 degrees, right? So let me make these triangles for you here. So this is the 45 degree one first which I'm drawing and in a 45 degree special triangle these sides are 1 and 1 and the hypotenuse is square root 2 and this is 45 degrees and that is 90 degrees. For a 60, 90, 30 degree, we have a triangle like this and we actually use only half portion of this triangle, right? Then, the side is 2, this is 1 and that is square root of 3. Well, this angle is 60 degrees, that is 90 degrees and this will be 90. 60 plus 30 is 90, 30 degrees. So 60 plus 30 is 90 and 90 and 90 gives me 180 degrees. So these are the special triangles which are well known to us. Now all these questions will need the help whenever you get this term exact value then it's kind of a hint look into your special triangles correct. Now 75 can I write 75 as combination of these? Yes of course 75 is 45 plus 30 correct. 45 plus 30 gives me 75 and therefore I can write this cos 75 as equal to cos of 45 degrees plus 30 degrees that is cos of 75 perfect now we can use this compound angle formula to expand cos 45 plus 30 degrees now here a is 45 and B is 30. So when we say cos A cos B, it means cos 45 and cos 30, correct? So let me write that. Cos of 45 degrees and cos of 30 degrees. Remember, if it is plus here, we have to take minus. That is the top sign. And then sine A sine B. Sine of A is 45 and B is 30 sine of 30 degrees. Now exact values means we use this triangle. Now what is cos of 45? Cos of 45 is adjacent over hypotenuse. It is 1 over square root 2. So we'll write this as 1 over square root 2. How about cos of 30 degrees? Cos of 30 degrees is adjacent side of square root 3 over 2. So we write times square root 3 over 2 minus 
sine of 45. Sine of 45 is 1 over square root 2 times sine of 30. Sine of 30 is 1 over 2, right? Opposite over hypotenuse. So we get 1 over 2. Now it's a matter of solving this equation with radicals. Now we see square root 2 times 2 is common. So let's write it here. 2 square root 2. That's the better way of writing 2 times square root 2. In the numerator, we get square root 3 times 1 is square root 3 minus 1 times 1, which is 1. So that is our answer. But at times, what we need to do is we need to rationalize it. Right? It is not a good practice to leave square root 2 in the denominator. Well, some teachers do accept it. In that case, you may leave it like this. But I'll prefer to rationalize it. Rationalization means to multiply in such a way that we get rid of square root 2. That means I should multiply by square root 2 and divide by square root 2. If I do that, then I get what? Square root 2 times 2 is 2 and 2 times 2 is 4. So I get 4 in the denominator. And the numerator gives me 2 times square root 3, which is square root 6 minus square root 2. So that is my numerator and that is my final answer for this question, right? Now, if you are doing it in radians, then how are you going to write cos 5 pi by 12 in terms of these angles? So let's try to think this. Rest all is exactly same. Well, since you know it is this, you could say, well, it is pi by 4 plus pi by 6. That gives you the answer, right? So that is how it is. Now, I would like you to see these angles also in terms of 12s. For example, let's look into this angle of 45 degrees, right? Now, 45 degrees angle is, you know, pi by 4. It is half of pi by 2. But in case you have to write with a denominator of 12, right, it is 3 times. So it is 3 pi by 12. Is that okay? Similarly, 30 degrees is what? 30 degrees is pi by 6. But if you want to write with denominator of 12, it is 2 pi by 12. Got it? Now, I'm going backwards because here I have already given you the solution, right? So, the taking advantage of what we have and then connecting it to what we want to do, correct? That's the whole strategy. Now, look at the beauty of radians. We want 5 pi by 12. 5 pi by 12. And 5 pi by 12 could be written as 3 plus 2 pi, right? Think like this. 3 pi plus 2 pi by 12. Do you see that? So, 3 pi by 12 is actually 45 degrees and 2 pi by 12 is 30 degrees. I am giving you the strategy on the right side so that you understand that if you are working with radians, it is not really very difficult to split it. So, the combinations to split 5 pi was 3 plus 2, right? You could have done 1 plus 4 also, but 1 over 12 pi, you know, is not your special triangle, correct? Therefore, 3 over 2 is a good option, perfect? So, this type of splitting helps. So, basically what will happen is, here you will write this as, instead of 45 plus 30 degrees, you will write this as, let me write this in a different color. So, you will write this part as cos of 45, you will actually write 3 pi by 12 plus 2 pi by 12, right? 3 pi by 12 plus 2 pi by 12, right? That is all. Now, 3 pi by 12 is actually pi by 4 for you, which is 45 degrees. And 2 pi by 12 is 30 degrees for you. It's kind of easier to go from here to 45 degrees rather than straight, right? I've seen some students, first they convert this to degrees. And 75, oh yes, it is 45 plus 30. It's easier that way also, right? You can do that. But I'll prefer to split this term or see the angles also as ratio of 12th, correct? We know them as ratios of by 6 and by 3 and 4 
why not by 12 right so make a table so that you could relate your angles with denominator of 12 also it will become very very handy for you okay anyway once you do that you know this is 45 and that is 30 degrees rest calculation from here to here is exactly same correct so this is the first step for you and the next step is you could simplify this to 3 pi by 2 uh, I mean pi by 4 and 2 pi by 12 can be written as pi by 6 that is this statement and then you know the values using your special triangles get the answer so that is how we can find different angles right I would like you to try it out for sine of 75 degrees or sine of 5 pi by 12 on your own as an exercise to practice okay thank you